So over here in the task list, let's say what I want to do is I want to assign a resource. And over here inside of resource uses, you can see that there's some resources right here. Even in the resource seed, there are some uh, pre-made resources that I have. So let me just go around onto the Gantt chart view right here and select out, let's say something like script writer and click on details for it. You can see that the script writer travel and first aid applied onto that particular task. And let's say I want to go around and add something else. You can go around onto the drop down menu and here you can see that there's many options. But let me just go around and type in something like paper, which does not actually uh, exist in the resource list. Once I do that and press OK, you can see that the resource has been added. But what I really uh, wanted to add was drawing papers. So if I were to go around onto the resource uses right here, let me just go around onto the detail section and see the resource seat right here. You can see that um, uh, the, the, there's the drawing papers which has been uh, which is already there and there's paper uh, as you can see right here. But what I actually wanted was to assign drawing papers. And as I typed in paper, you can see that it automatically created a new resource. But that is something I don't want to happen. So let me just go ahead and delete this out right here. Delete the resource. And let me just go back to Gantt chart. So each and, uh, each, uh, and every time um, uh, the application is about to assign a new resource, let's say I want it to notify me so that I don't accidentally add in dual resources um, without having to. So for that, I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to options and under advanced right here, you can see automatically add new resources and task is an option. Let me just disable this and press OK right here. And now if I were to go around onto scriptwriter, just like this, I can go around onto detail right here. And if I were to type in something like paper right here, uh, nothing happens. But when I press OK, it says the resource you type paper is not uh, in the resource pool, meaning it is not there. And only if you want to add it in, you have to press yes. So now you know that this is not a part of the resource that I originally had. So I can press no, and then I can go around and see the resources right here, uh, thus preventing out the errors that I might make. So I can go around and press OK, just like this. And now that resource has been attached out onto this particular uh, task right here. And now uh, resource duplication does not happen. And that is how you can go around and then prevent um, uh, a resource duplication errors um, uh, in the resource list while you're assigning resources onto different tasks inside of Microsoft Project. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.